Okay, so today we're gonna to talk about how you can improve your financial circumstances through just a couple of everyday habits and some things you gotta do when you're gonna when you're gonna spend money. So there's there's a really alarming number of people in the US who aren't currently aware of how much money they have in their bank account. And maybe that's a psychological thing. Maybe it's just like people don't really wanna see how much money's in their bank account but I'm very much in touch with that. So the first piece of advice I'll give you for improving your financial situation is just every morning that you wake up, you gotta make your agenda and all the other stuff that I talk about, but log into your bank account and log into your credit accounts and see how much money you're actually spending, where your money's going and where money is coming into your bank account. Because if you're spending more money than you're actually taking in, obviously that's not a good thing. And hopefully you're not doing that anyways. But maybe there's weird, like little subscriptions that you don't know that you're just spending money on and you're not really using. And so if you if you see that every time that you check your account, you see how much money you're spending on these things, you're more aware of it. You're more psychologically in tune with how much money you're actually spending. So that's my first piece of practical advice for just like getting your personal finances straight is just having everything consolidated in a view. So for me, that's usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I get up super early and I'm doing all this stuff, making my schedule. But right after that, I'm logging into my bank accounts, whatever. Uh, I'll be checking PayPal and I'll, I'll check those things and I'll stay really in touch with them because it's important to know exactly how much money you have and where you're spending it. Okay, so the other piece of advice that I have is when you're about to make a really expensive purchase, it doesn't even really have to be an expensive purchase. If you're thinking about like going out and going shopping, getting clothes and like you just wanna go shopping and like have fun, that's cool, go do it. But when you're in a store, don't just all of a sudden buy things because they're cheap. I've really, I, I kinda had that problem. Like, you know, at one point it was just like, I was buying stuff, I guess, until I really started to practice this technique. I started to just buy stuff and accumulate like cheap junk, you know? And the thing is, what was happening is I was like, oh, this is a good deal, so I'm gonna buy this. But it's not a good deal if you're buying things that you're not going to use. And it's not a good deal if you're buying things that you'll never use. So when you're in a store and you see something that you think you really need or that you really want, my tip is walk away. Just think about it. That's cool. That's a great, that's a, it's great that that thing's there, but walk away and then come back a week later. You don't even have to go to the store, but just ask yourself a week later, do you really still need that thing? And if the answer is yes, go ahead and go out, you know, whatever justify whatever you're doing. But if the answer is no, you just probably saved yourself some money and you probably saved yourself some time and you probably saved yourself a trip to the Goodwill too. So if you think that's something that you're kind of struggling with, like you're just like spending money on stupid junk all the time. And the biggest problem is online shopping. Like online shopping is insane. Unless it's an auction for some baseball card that you've never seen before, that, that thing is gonna be there for ages to come. So you might as well just wait a week see if you really need it, see if it's really a smart decision, and then come back and get it. Because if you do that, you're practicing your, you're practicing self-control and discipline. So those are gonna play out in other areas in your life too. You're not going to just impulsively go eat a chocolate cake, whatever. Like, if that's a problem that you do, getting control over how much money you're spending on stupid purchases is probably gonna help you improve your self-discipline, which is gonna give you more self-control. And then you have more control of the decisions that you make in your life. So. Not only will it help you save money, it'll help you improve the, your self-discipline. It'll help you maintain control over what you're choosing to spend your time and money on. Because ultimately when we buy something, we're, we're giving up all of our time for that. Like you have a job or you're doing something to create money, you, it took time, you took time out of your life to do that. So are you just really gonna throw it away on stupid crock pot or like a blender or something that you're never gonna use? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. So my advice is to just walk away and in a week, ask yourself, hey, do I really still need that thing? Because I'll be honest with you, I'll share a personal story. When I started this podcast and I started this vlog, I was like, I need to get the best video equipment ever, right? That's going to make me into an all-star vlog. Dude, I got like 10 subscribers, right? And having a really nice camera would have only just made me it would have just recorded, it would have just given me better footage for my 10 subscribers to watch. That's it. It wouldn't have changed anything at all. It's just you, the person who's doing the thing, has to be good at the thing before the equipment makes you great. So 
like that was me a week later. I said, yeah, you know what? The thing is, I just got to get better at what I'm doing. I got to be a better person. I got to be better at what I'm doing before I go out and go spend a bunch of money on all that stuff. And more often than not, I bet you a lot of these people that you see who are running really fantastic vlogs, like, you know, some of the, some of the best like vlogs that I follow on YouTube, some of these coding vlogs, like, um, one lone coder and, um, Joshua Fluke, a lot of these people, they started out and they just recorded videos on the computer. And then when they got good enough, other people just gave them the equipment. They never even bought it. So I think that that's a really cool incentive that if you're good enough, that people will actually support what you're doing. People will give you the stuff that you need to keep on doing what you're doing. So think about that. Um, but that's it for today. That's my, my practical advice. My practical advice is you know, just be in touch with your personal finances. Always log in your bank account and check out how much money you actually have, where you're spending your money, where it's going. And then number two, control your purchases with discipline. Be very disciplined in what you buy and what you're introducing into your life because you know you might think you need something, but you come back a week later, you're probably gonna find out you really don't. So those are my two pieces of advice for today. I'm always putting out these little videos. I'm always putting out you know a podcast on practical advice. So if you're not watching the video, I have a podcast on Spotify. And if you're on Spotify, I got a video on YouTube. So whichever one is a better platform for you to you know kind of enjoy, I've got both of them going. So I hope this is helpful and uh, have a good rest of the day.